look at that. I think my tire threw up. What's up party people back at you with another video today so today i want to talk about three things that can improve your mountain bike ride and probably your mountain bike experience so number one first thing i like to do when i get to a trailhead or where i'm going to ride is actually do a pre-ride warm-up for god's sakes people please do not stretch cold muscles i don't know a lot but i know that is not healthy for you so what i like to try to do is warm up using the sport that i'm going to actually be doing that day so if I'm walking or hiking, I try to take a brief walk. I might jog for a couple minutes and then walk again. If I'm mountain biking, I get on my bike. I might ride around the park. That's why you see mountain bikers look so douchey all the time. You think they're out in the parking lot trying to do, you know, tricks and show off. Actually, it's really just trying to get the muscles warm. Some bodies take longer than others. And so when I get to the trailhead, I'll usually just jump on the bike, do a few circles. Um, and then the first mile or so of the trail, I'll take it easy until I feel my body is actually warmed up. Then you'll feel much more comfortable to kind of go all out. So number one is warm up your body doing whatever sport you intend to be doing. So number two, easy on the water. A lot of times we go out for like an hour ride or we have you know time during lunch to go riding or maybe we're riding right after the rush hour. You don't need a lot of water for those rides. Actually, you probably don't need any water. Um, I think you can go an hour probably in the dry desert without dehydrating yourself. And what I found is the more water you pack, actually, the more likely you are to actually sip on that water through the ride, whether you need it or not. And we've all kind of been there where we've been riding. And the next thing you know, you've got the sloshy belly, You're drinking too much too soon, right? So you want to kind of meter your water usage. Um, I tend not to bring water with me on these short rides I do anything less than probably an hour an hour 20 minutes I usually don't bring water uh, but if it's an extremely hot day and I know I'm gonna be out for a two three four hour ride and I'll pack water but you will rarely find me packing more than a liter a liter and a half and uh, unless I'm out in the western part of the United States where it's a little bit drier a little bit hotter and desert conditions then you know all bets are off but typically easy on the water because um, you actually start to feel worse during the ride if you get the sloshy belly. That's the number two way to improve your mountain bike ride. All right, so let's talk about the third way to uh, improve your mountain bike ride. And what I like to call this is a post-ride stretch. And you've already got warm muscles from riding. Your body is totally warmed up. It's the perfect time to actually stretch out to regain some of that mobility. Uh, and also when your muscles are warm like that, they will stretch farther than they will at any other time. So you can also increase the flexion, and the flexibility, and the mobility within your muscles if you uh, stretch in this warm period. The main benefit of this is we've been there, right, where we ride multiple days in a row and we've got the soreness and the achiness in our muscles, um, specifically in our trunk and our legs and our um, calves and hamstrings for, for mountain biking. Um, core all the way down, usually not too much in the arms, although you still need to stretch all parts, but these are the three main stretches I think that for me has helped me the most and they're quick to do. And I like to go pull over right after the ride at the trailhead, find a shady spot and just knock these three out. And so for each one of these, I hold it for two minutes. So I just start a timer on my, uh, on my mobile phone. I usually have my mobile phone with me and I'll just start a two minute timer and I'll hold these for uh, two minutes. 
and uh, obviously the ones I'm going to show you are not the uh, the ones I'm going to show you are not the only stretches that you can do but I found that these three specifically are very quick and easy to do and you can do them anywhere you don't need to lay down in the dirt you don't need to put out a yoga mat um, so they're really quick and easy so the first one is um, a basic calf stretch and there's a couple ways to do this but um, I typically do it up against the wheel of my vehicle so as you can see here we've got a wheel and I just kind of put my foot up against the wheel like this and did my leg and this is kind of the runner stretch and this will get the lactic acid uh, build up that's in your calf out and just hold that for two minutes and uh, you can do the other one for two minutes as well and if you don't have a tire like that you might be able to find yourself a rock kind of like this where you can do the same thing all right so the other stretch is the basic hamstring stretch just stand together with your uh, feet together and your your knees almost straight not always straight put your hands on your waist with your thumbs into your oblique muscles and just bend and drop your hand once you feel comfortable and keep this for two minutes and you can kind of wiggle around um, you can cross one leg behind the other uh, there's a bunch of variations you can do with this but uh, keep in mind the uh, fingers thumbs around the oblique muscles help you to bend at your uh, hips and you want to stretch the hips and so uh, this particular motion here basic hamstring stretch and like I said you can cross your legs you can do that stretch one line you can do the other way as well so that's the number two stretch the third stretch I do is to really stretch out my quadriceps and so basically what I do is just pick up my leg grab my ankle bend my leg behind me and just keep this pose here for uh, two minutes and I will sometimes stretch out one way and then stretch in front maybe stretch a little bit to the side twist around on the other leg a little bit but uh, just keep this pose and the intent here is also to kind of help stretch the tendons and also the ligaments around your knees as well and uh, to get some of that lactic acid out of your quadriceps which a lot of times will show up as back pain the next day because you have tightened your quadricep muscles so much um, from a previous day's ride um, they're just kind of sore and they're really super tight and it just pulls on your back and it can show up as lower back pain so do this switch legs do the same thing grab your ankle and just kind of bend your quadricep behind you and you want to do this without holding on to anything if you can that will help the stabilizer muscles in your ankles and stretch as well and you just kind of want to keep that pose uh, for two minutes and so those three stretches uh, post workout stretches for me have been um, the uh, the most ideal stretches and uh, there's tons of variations of those that you can do but I find that those three if I can do those as soon as I uh, get finished with the ride the next day I feel absolutely wonderful and I don't have any tightness in my body and uh, I can sustain rides multiple rides per week and ultimately the goal is to ride as much as possible without stressing the body and without getting injured and so again those were three ways to help improve your mountain bike ride and I think your overall mountain biking experience and so I hope that helps you out you know just to recap number one uh, before you ride you want to warm your muscles up right so do that pre-ride warm-up um, with the, whatever sport that you're doing just to warm the muscle the body's muscles up and so the muscles the body's muscles up so that gets you prepared for the upcoming ride number two easy on the water if it's rides that are shorter you know probably an hour or shorter you might not need to water at all so maybe leave some of that water behind and number three the post ride uh, stretch your body's muscles are now as warm as probably they're going to get um, do it as soon as possible after the ride um, that's why i like to do it in the in the trailhead somewhere just find a spot and just kind of stretch it out if you like the video content give me a big thumbs up share comment subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel already it really really helps out the channel and you know what to do till next time skill up and ride van up and go